What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode with my palace and vice pants. What's up, everybody? Welcome to an evening edition of what am I doing today? Fan Mail Friday. It is May the 27th. Well, it will be tomorrow when you guys are watching this, or when you will be today when you guys are watching, because, you know, I filmed the day before. It's not like I'm doing it live. Nope. <laughs> I don't make that kind of money yet. Uh, a couple things we're talking about. Moving to prime time. That is right. Uh, I thought about it, and a lot of people are like, are you making a video today? Are you making a video today? And I'm like, yeah, I posted it at 9 o'clock this morning. Where were y'all? Well, most of y'all are in school, and I didn't think about that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my 9 a.m. release to, like, the evenings. Like, say, I don't know, like 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock. Leave it in the comments. Which is better? Like 6 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 7.30? After, you know, like, what do you guys do? You come home from school, you got to do your homework, then there's dinner, and then do you have time to, like, you know, do the internet stuff? The interweb? <laughs> Let me know. Let me know what's better. And then uh, come Monday, I'm going to pick something, uh, something official. Uh, we'll talk about it more on Sunday, Q&A Sunday. Q&A Sunday, get your questions in! And, you know, I answer them every week. You leave them questions in the comments all week long. I do Q&A every Sunday. Melissa had a great idea to have Feisty Pants Q&A. So leave some questions for Feisty Pants next week, and I'll do it for Feisty Pants the following week. It's going to be great. Here's a challenge to all you guys, and I know, I know there's somebody out there that's going to figure this out. I'm talking old Grimm's Toy Show content, right? Dun, 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 dun. There's a series where it was way back, like like almost four years ago. Uh, my brother, the original champ, and I, we were talking about it last week, um, where he speared some guy into the river and then he choke slammed Grim off of a fence. Uh, we found the one where uh, he choke slammed Grim off the fence. I linked that in last week's video, and uh, we we could I couldn't I just. I couldn't find the one where he speared. I want to say it was uh, Jamie the Mailman being, you know, the bad guy he was, stealing Grimm's belt. I want to say, you know, it was Jamie that my brother speared into the river. It was great. And um, we just we just couldn't find that video. So I'm reaching out to all the big Grimm's Toy Show fans, and I need somebody to send me that link to that video where my brother, the original champ, spears Jamie the Mailman into the river. Uh, that way I can link it for you guys and you have a good time watching it. Um, talking about other stuff, SmackDown is coming to an end? No. Uh, there's vicious rumors going around all week long. Um, I shouldn't say all week long. It's like the last two days. And I, I still don't even know what's what. Um, SmackDown, it looks like SmackDown is leaving Thursday. Thursday! And it's going to Tuesday. And it's going to be live, like Raw's live on Monday. So it'll be live Raw Monday, live Tuesday uh, SmackDown, instead of airing it late on Thursday. You know, because it's all pre-recorded. Um, then, then there's like, there's talk of like a brand split and NXT is coming to an end. Like NXT is like one of the best things to, to watch on the network. How, how do you end something like that? Who knows? Let's, let's give it a couple of days and see what happens. And maybe somebody will have the right, uh, the right report. Uh, I still don't know what the hell is what. X-Men, X-Men Age of Apocalypse this weekend. I'm going to see it. I'm going to let you guys know how it is. And... The double halls continue for another week or two uh, while the uh, month of May is on. Double hall Mondays <laughs> for the Star Wars May the 4th be with you. All right, let's get to the comments already. Uh, earlier last week on Thursday, we painted a scavenger, Generation 1 scavenger. We painted him blue, called it Blue Scavenger. Here's the link. It was pretty cool. Uh, Rob Forky Jr. says, it looks really good, Alex. Awesome this prime says, cool. Is that a G1 scavenger? It certainly was. Uh, this guy from Russia, the country, uh, is a Romashka talk show. He says, excellent channel, well done. I had to translate his comments from Russian to English. Thank you, Romashka. That was very awesome. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. Uh, D-Man says, uh, very cool video. I really like how you use the construction equipment as an example in the video. Very cool, very cool. I, I totally do this, like, all the time. Me and Feisty Pants, we're going to be driving in the car, and I'll be like, hey, my boy, look at that, there's a construction truck. Or, hey, look at this Camaro going by. Because 
I'm constantly thinking about the next guy I'm going to paint for Feisty Pants to play with, and just as part of my portfolio. And um, there's a number of bumblebees I'm trying to paint. You know, we saw some Camaros with different paint jobs, like black with silver racing stripes was kind of cool. We saw a white one with blue racing stripes. And kind of what the holdup is, why I don't just crank them out. I work, like, you know, 80 hours a week. Um, two, uh, I, I tend to tie the people that I paint into a Transformer name. That way it's just not like, you know, white Camaro with blue racing stripes. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's not his name. It, da, 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 da. Fan mail last week uh, for 520. Um, in, in fan mail, there was an awesome uh, fan all the way out in China, the country, and he sent me some Star Wars Jawa figures, and I titled fan mail Utini, because that's what the Jawas yell when they stand up and shoot R2-D2 in the, in the desert. He stands up and he shoots them and he goes, Utini! Pew, 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 pew! Oh my goodness. Um, but yeah, that's what happened. So that, And then, you know, in Star Wars lore, you figure out how to spell Utini, and that's what it's called. Nobody seems to know. I, I don't know. Uh, David Griffin says he's so excited for Q&A 100. Uh, it sucks that Emma got hurt. Yes, Emma got hurt last week. Uh, she hurt her back. Uh, Roger Dika says, uh, good fan mail video. Thank you, Roger. Rob Forky Jr. says, F you, toy hunts. Yes, uh, somebody has going on about toy hunts, and I'm like, I used to do them. They're boring. Uh, great fan mail. Uh, did you hear about CBS producing a new Star Trek series in the summer of 2017? I did hear about it, and it looks fucking awesome. I can't wait. Melissa says she loves the show. Uh, she wanted to be part of the Q&A 100 party. Thank you, Melissa, anytime. And uh, Melissa watches everything except baseball, she says, because she doesn't like baseball. But that's okay, because I, you know, I put variety out there for everybody to see something else than the previous day. That's called variety. <laughs> I don't know. The Stout! Uh, Stout Man says it's, uh, yeah, it's Friday! That's what I'm talking about! Uh, TJ Detweiler says, I want to say you're awesome, bro. Thank you, TJ. And then, uh, you know, going into Sunday was Extreme Rules. Uh, who saw the pay-per-view? I was actually thought it was pretty good. Uh, we made a funny uh, picks video. Uh, me and Feisty Pants and his cousin slept over. B1 and E-Rocks. Here's, uh, here's our picks video for it. Um, it was hilarious. Uh, in, in Fan Mail Part 2, I'll link you the, um, the results video and the outtakes I did with the original champ. Even funnier. Uh, you know, we love having fun with the family. That's, that's number one. Uh, Johnny Too Hotty had asked if I was going to Extreme Rules, but no. Uh, Grim and Doohop went. I stayed home with the Ninja Twins and Attack Slug, and we watched it from the comfort of the living room. Uh, TJ Detweiler says, Imagine if Dean Ambrose and Renee Young raised a family, and their house would be called The Asylum. <laughs> That was actually kind of funny. Thank you, DJ. Uh, Sid uh, from 3 Delivery says, Extreme Rules is going to be awesome, right? I can hope so. Let's stand by for part two, and we'll see our results video.